Hello guys, this is Sumit here again from Study Hub. I'm with another video as I promised in last video that I'm going to be clearing out this doubt of what if I if if I say I don't know. So guys, a lot of students ask this question for sure answer. What if I just say I don't know? If I don't know the answer, can I just say I don't know? And I'm normally like, well, it won't make much of a difference. And they're like, well, we've been told by our friends, if we say, I don't know, we will be getting the score. Um, but if we are quiet, um, that means we won't be getting the score. And I'm, I'm here to clear this doubt, guys. I'm going to first of all show you where is this concept coming from? Why do we have to say, I don't know? Or why we don't say, I don't know? Which questions we are supposed to say, I don't know? Which questions we aren't supposed to say, I don't know? I'm going to clear each and everything with proof today guys so guys so i don't know it's coming from um, a video basically there is a video made by pde itself basically the ceo of or the director of pde um, and in this video the video's name is silence and response what happens if there is silence reported in the in the response so i want you to listen to this uh 20 second clip we can allow a certain amount of silence let's say for example that the test taker um, is just quiet on half of the test items, or maybe they say, I don't know, to half of the test items. Um, we can probably deal with that and assign a score. Now, obviously, their content scores are going to be quite low. They couldn't answer half the questions. Um, so in, in content, they're going to be penalized. For pronunciation and fluency, if we have a sufficient rateable sample of language from the test taker, then we can assign scores on pronunciation and fluency. So guys, this is where this concept of saying I don't know is coming from. So students or some people have looked at this video and they think by saying I don't know, they'll be getting the score. Rather than not answering, they can say I don't know. And similar to this, there is another video which says measure the communicative skills, automatic scoring FAQ, which is frequently asked questions. I've, I've actually linked this video in the comment as well. So I want you to listen to this question. How do you know that someone can actually speak in a communicative way? First of all, I think not all the not all the answers are short. We have a mix of different answers. So guys, then this is the second video about answering short questions in this particular video they are saying um, we want people to be able to speak in a natural way or we, we are basically judging how a natural or a native speaker would respond to a question and, and that is why people think by saying I don't know I'll be getting a score rather than or I saying I don't know is better than saying better than saying nothing so guys after looking at these videos and then the next question for me was to look at the score how is the scoring how does the scoring works and what happens in actual scoring and all that stuff so so let's have a look at the scoring guide guys let's see how scoring works so guys according to the scoring guys there are different types of questions in speaking so there is read aloud repeat sentence describe image read a lecture and short answer questions and they have different ways of marking i'm going to show you the marking criteria of all the questions now before i show you the marking criteria i'm going to explain this one more time so what we have learned is why do we say i don't know we normally say i don't know when we don't know the answer and the reason for that is guys for example if the answer if, if the software needs the software needs a, a particular or a minimum amount of content to be able to score um, your speaking so for example if, uh, this particular software needs 110 speakable words or recognizable words to be able to mark if the software has only say 100 five words it needs five more words perhaps um, and you have said i don't know i don't know for a few questions that means <clears throat> the computer has something sizable to be able to score and also guys when you say i don't know your content marking goes down it is only your pronunciation and fluency in which you are getting the score you're not getting score in the content according to the video but the guys the surprising part is so different questions are marked in different ways the first type of question is called read aloud now this particular question marks your reading as well as speaking it checks your content it checks your pronunciation it checks your Oral fluency. So for this particular type of question, if you say, I don't know how to read, perhaps, um, 
you will still get some score in pronunciation and oral fluency and your content score may go down um, and if you go to the next question which is a uh, repeat sentence rather than answering the question if you say i don't know well you're getting score on content you're getting score in pronunciation as well as fluency so you may get some score for fluency and pronunciation but not for content similarly in describe image the same thing happens you get score on content pronunciation and oral fluency so when you're not able to say anything and you just say anything perhaps i don't know there are chances that you'll be getting some score in pronunciation and fluency uh, but not on the content but then you go further and read a lecture <clears throat> your reader lecture does the same thing it scores you on content pronunciation and fluency but guys the surprising part is your answer short question your answer short question checks your listening as well as speaking it does not score you on your pronunciation or fluency the way marking for this particular question works is if you give one correct answer or each correct or appropriate response word choice scores you one point and each inappropriate word choice scores you zero means if you say for example the question says how many people are engaged in a bilateral talk and the answer for this particular question is two if you answer two you may get a good so you your score can be one if you say well there are two people uh, engaged in a bilateral talk your answer is still going to be one but if you simply say i don't know you will not get any score guys your score will be zero so no matter if you say if you stay silent in this question or if you say i don't know it will not make any difference guys any strategy you learn at study hub goes through through rigorous testing um and then we have checked it multiple times on mock exams actual exams before we deliver it in the class before we teach that strategy in the class we don't just say by listening to a video well the answer can be you can answer I don't know just because it's said in one of the video we check it thoroughly now I wasn't still satisfied with this so <clears throat> I thought maybe I'm getting some score in listening so what I did guys guys was I actually tried three PTE mock exams on my own and I'm gonna show you what I did in these exams and what were the results and how I was surprised looking at this results guys so let's have a look at this now so guys what I did was I gave an exam myself um, so the first exam that I gave um, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the first one a bit later but I'm gonna show you the second exam that I gave now in this exam I attempted uh, some this questions climate change which was published last year the so course delves I tried these questions and then I did some um, other ones for example uh, repeat sentence and then some images <clears throat> for example this one <laughs> like the image from 1975 to 1995 so what I did guys after that was <clears throat> as you can tell I was not feeling 100% well so what I did was I actually answered questions um, um, 20 out of 39 and then I skipped a few questions so I'm gonna show you this part as well uh, when I'm skipping this was the last question that I answered um, and after this I'm gonna show you so that's next question I'm gonna skip next skip next skip next skip so all I'm doing is I'm skipping and then I skipped one of the uh, uh, short answer question as well now for rest of them what I did was I answered three questions in a recession does economic activity increase slow down or stay the same I don't know apart from three questions for rest of the questions I said I don't know and I still answered three questions just to make sure that I'm getting some kind of score for these questions what is the subject so of let's study look at this guy at a culinary Institute I don't know <coughs> where would you expect to find equipment like microscopes Bunsen burners beakers and petri dishes I don't know the same way guys I attempted one more exam now in this particular exam I attempted exact same questions but the only difference in this particular exam was rather than saying I don't know I just did not answer anything and I stay I stayed quiet so for example I'm just gonna show you a few of them Physicians let's say this practice one. don't just need to know medicine they must also be able to balance budgets, motivate. 
this is common and natural so look at this, this one frequency 21 million people which is the maximum and in then we have some images and london has only 8 million people in 1950 if So guys, what the Act only difference was this like time? Microscopes, so look at this Bunsen one. Bunsen burners, beakers, <coughs> and petri dishes. Hospital. Historians so look at this. use evidence to draw conclusions about the same past. Three questions. Would a contemporary artist's painting of an ancient battle be an original source or a secondary source? Where would you expect to find equipment so see, like microscopes, Bunsen burners, beakers, and petri dishes? No, press next. What is the name of the field of study that studies the human mind and behavior? So, um, the outcome of this particular test was, guys, after attempting questions um, in the first exam as well as the second exam, I'm going to show you my score. So guys, as I said, I attempted three exams. For the first exam, when I answered everything properly, I scored 19 speaking, reading 26, listening 40, and nothing in writing. For the second exam, I only attempted about 20 questions roughly. And then for the answer short questions, I attempted three questions. But for the rest of them, I said, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. My score in speaking was 57 reading 26 listening 34 your listening and reading are also um, uh, assessed uh, with your speaking uh, and i'm going to go in detail in a different video um, how and on what basis and which questions fluency is 72 pronunciation is about 45 and when i attempted the next exam the actual same exam once again rather than saying i don't know i said i didn't answer anything i stayed quiet to my surprise my my score was still the same speaking 58 and the previous one was 57 this is 58 a tiny difference um 26 reading 33 listening 76 57 pronunciation is a little bit better in this one but i guess it's just normal because I was doing the same exam probably third time um, that could be one of the reasons as well in the first time I scored 90 because I answered all the questions so what's happening over here is guys what's happening is um, when you answer when you say I don't know your score is 33 overall speaking 57 but when you stay quiet it's 58 and I actually thought listening is going to be different but listening there was no difference at all and that kind of made sense to me when there is no pronunciation no fluency being marked how can I score high in this question by saying I don't know um, and the guys the truth is uh, no you do not get any score if you say I don't know for answer short questions for other questions yes um, you're giving them some content to read a little bit um, and then that's all you're doing guys there are for short answer questions there is a list of about 139 questions which are repeated again and again in this particular exam if you would like to get the list of those 139 questions you can just send write the comment send me a copy and we'll send it to you i hope this video was helpful if it was helpful share it with your friends as well and try to uh, take out all the misconceptions uh, from everybody's mind and help people get gain more knowledge about new things guys so guys in the next video i'm going to be covering this uh, um, question called reorder paragraphs this particular question a lot of students find it difficult some students find it easier as well <clears throat> but a big majority of people found this particular question difficult and if you struggle and then what what you have to do in this question is guys you basically need to find the first sentence second sentence third sentence fourth sentence and the fifth sentence and what you need to do is <clears throat> you need to organize it in a proper order what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm not only going to show you how this particular question is marked and why some students who think they are doing very well in this question are actually not doing well in this question and how some students who think who are not doing well in this question and they are doing very well in this particular question. I'm going to not only going to show you the marking of this question but I'm also going to show you how to find your first sentence, second sentence, third, the second last and the last one. And the next particular lecture is going to be very helpful if you struggle with this lesson guys with this particular type of question 
Now another thing guys, last in the last video what happened, um, <clears throat> there were approximately 1100 comments uh, to uh, that, that actually asked us to send, send them a copy uh, and we struggled guys, we honestly struggled um, and there were students who were like it's been 24 hours, we still haven't received the, uh, the list of questions and we're still kind of struggling to cope up, there are about 700-800 uh, 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 messages that we have replied and there are still about 300-400 messages that we still have to reply so what we are doing in this particular one is there is um, a learn more option um, after this or a sign up or something like this there, there is a button uh, at the bottom of this video or and and, or, and also in the link uh, uh, in the com uh, in the description upstairs uh, up there there is a hyperlink there if you just fill your name your surname and your email address your phone number is optional if you want to fill it you can if you don't want to you don't have to and also if you write send me a copy in the comment section we're going to be using a software now what this software is gonna see this software is gonna look at the email addresses that are there and if and and there is a Facebook app that's embedded in this particular software as well so this particular software what it's gonna, it's gonna do is it's gonna look at your email address and then it's gonna look at the comment if there is in quotation if it's written send me a copy please uh, it will send an uh, send a copy automatically within 15 to 20 minutes and if it doesn't say send me a copy please and just we have the email address uh, or if it doesn't say if we just have the comment but nothing else that means you're not getting the copy we're not sending it but the software is going to be able to detect the so as soon as you see the software sees in the comment section send me a copy it's going to match with the email address and it's going to send you a copy straight away within 15 to 20 minutes um, and you won't have to struggle uh, and you won't have to wait this time this was the first time um, it has happened with us we I didn't know that we're gonna be getting like uh, that many comments um, it's good it's a good problem to have uh, but now we have sorted this out um, and then I'm gonna give you a good news in the next uh, uh, video as well um, and I'll see you guys um, you have a wonderful day until then and I'll see you soon